See you in February. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Thanks so much for joining us as we continue our evening, a movie starring Dane Clark, a man who played many sidekicks and best friends and films that he made during his time at Warner Brothers as a leading man. We're spotlighting a few of those long unseen films tonight, as a matter of fact. And next up, we have Dane Clark in a comedy he made at Warner Brothers, co-starring another Warner's mainstay, Sidney Greenstreet. It's a movie called That Way With Women. And it was released in 1947 co-stars Green Street as a benevolent tycoon recently retired from the automobile business and bored stiff. As a way to amuse himself, he decides to buy a small gas station, but soon discovers that half of the station has already been sold to Dane Clark, who's a mechanic. Well, concealing his real identity, this tycoon, played by Green Street, begins helping Dane Clark fix up the station. All well and good and compatible until local racketeers show up and began demanding protection money. Meanwhile, Green Street also has a romantic angle in mind, a scheme to get Dane Clark together with Green Street's daughter, played by Martha Vickers. Now, this story had been filmed once before, in 1931, a movie called The Millionaire, which starred George Arliss in the role played in our movie by Sidney Green Street. And at this point, Sidney had been making movies since his debut in 1941 as the wily Casper Gutman in the movie The Maltese Falcon. And even though he retired from the screen just two years after our movie, Sidney managed to squeeze in 24 films in those eight years, including Casablanca, Between Two Worlds, The Hucksters, and Christmas in Connecticut. But here's Sidney Greenstreet in one of his rare leading roles and one of the rare comedy roles in a movie in which Alan Hale and Craig Stevens are also prominently displayed. Here's starring Dane Clark, That Way With Women. 